Hey everybody, it's Movie Buff Beth back again with another video. And today we are talking Arrow's Easter Carnage Sale. I picked up stuff from both the Arrow UK site and Grindhouse video, so I have lots of stuff to share you guys and I'm very excited to get into it. So yeah, for those of you who are unfamiliar with Arrow, they have sales like this ever so often and they usually take place in both the UK and in the US. They send you these fun little booklets to have. In my opinion, the stuff direct from the UK tends to be a little bit of a better deal. However, I did still find some stuff that I wanted to grab from Grindhouse, which are like the US releases. So I'll just go ahead and dive right in. Lots of stuff to get through. So we'll start with what I picked up from Grindhouse. I initially was only going to grab two box sets from them, but I found a, a few titles that were pretty good deals. I didn't write down how much these things were. I probably should have, but oh well. The sale's over anyways. Honestly, my main focus of the sale was probably like Japanese cinema. I've been really into Japanese cinema lately and there are a lot of great titles released by Arrow Video. So I use this kind of as an opportunity to catch up on those. Yeah, I grabbed a few horror flicks, but it is going to be a lot of Japanese cinema. This first flick here actually, I believe is an Italian flick and that is The Climber. I actually thought I already owned this one, but upon checking, I realized I didn't. So I don't know if it was a part of the UK sale, but I went ahead and grabbed it. I placed the Grindhouse order after I placed the UK order. So yeah, I just decided to go ahead and grab it. We'll go ahead and see how it is. There's the back if you want to check out the special features and whatnot. So yeah, The Climber. And then this is our first Japanese flick here, and that is Cops vs. Thugs. Another one that I really could have sworn I already owned, but surprisingly I didn't have. So yeah, excited to add that one to the collection. And as always guys, if you have any opinions on the stuff I picked up, let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you see any of your favorites or if there's some that you just absolutely think I should check out right away. Next up is a flick I've been meaning to grab for a while, mainly because it's directed by Robert Altman, and that is Gosford Park. I've really been getting into Robert Altman lately and I've heard that this is a pretty good film. So definitely looking forward to this one. And this is under their Aero Academy line, which is actually soon to be no longer. They're not getting rid of releasing titles like this, but they're just going to kind of combine them with the regular Aero video line. So yeah, definitely looking forward to this one. It has a huge cast of people in it. I couldn't even begin to read all of them, but uh, for that reason alone, I'm excited for it. And again, Robert Altman, can't go wrong. Not too long ago, I finally checked out Tokyo Drifter and I really, really loved it, which is directed by Saijin Suzuki. So I definitely wanted to seek out some of his other films. I do own the two Saijin Suzuki box sets that they released from Arrow, um, kind of like his earlier films. But this is one I, I am now kind of bummed I missed out on the limited edition, but I am happy I was able to grab it for a pretty good price. And that is the uh, Taisho trilogy. I probably am saying that wrong. But yeah, this is a trilogy of films that Suzuki did more than a decade after he was fired from Nikatsu films. So really looking forward to checking these out. I don't know too much about them. They did come in the dreaded blue case. I don't know if uh, any of you guys ordered from this sale, but it seems like Arrow is having a difficulty maintaining the clear cases. So I kind of cheated and I took one of my umbrella releases that came in a clear case and, and put this in there and put the umbrella release in the blue one because I don't really care that those are clear because most of those are in blue cases anyways. So this is actually kind of like a slightly different style uh, case that this one is in, but I wanted it to be clear because the rest of the stuff I got came in clear cases. But you know, that's just an OCD collector thing. So. Yeah, the uh, Taisho trilogy. Looking forward to this one. Please, please let me know if you guys have seen these films and, and let me know what you think of them. So yeah, like I mentioned, I initially just planned on getting two box sets from Grindhouse and these are the two box sets that I uh, was initially planning on getting from them. And I'm going in pretty much completely blind to these films. I don't know too much about them, but they were available in the limited editions, which were not available in the UK from what I could tell, so I had to grab them from Grindhouse. The first one is the Love and Anarchism box set, the films of Kaiju Yoshida, probably saying that wrong, but very intrigued by these. Again, I don't know too much about them, but more often than not, I'm very happy when I go into films blind and kind of just go in for the experience, so looking forward to that. There's the back for you, and you do have like separate cases on the inside, uh, Great, great looking release and really excited to add this one. And then the other box that I got here, this is known as the Buddhist Trilogy. Probably gonna say that name wrong, so I won't even attempt to butcher it, but I, I've heard good things about these films, so definitely looking forward to them. I probably have heard more about the Buddhist Trilogy than the other box set, but 
definitely looking forward to them. Um, and this one you got This Transient Life, Mandala, and Poem. So yeah, same thing. You got the individual cases. Just a beautiful, nice looking release from Arrow. All right, so that is everything I picked up from Grindhouse videos. So now I will go into what I picked up directly from Arrow in the UK. One thing that they had as part of their sale, and I don't know if they like distribute their titles or if they're like a partner label kind of thing, but they had some third window films releases on there. And there was definitely some that intrigued me. So I decided to go ahead and grab them. So I'll show you those first. First from Takashi Miike, we have Lesson of Evil. Always looking to pick up more Miike for the collection. So very, very excited about this one. I've heard of Third Window Films before, mostly because they released One Cut of the Dead over there, but I, I don't know that I had any of their releases before this. So definitely excited to add this one. And then this next director is a director I've heard lots about over the years. Uh, I believe you say his name, Sion Sono. And the first film I got here is Anti-Porno one that I've heard a lot about, although not as much as the other film I picked up, but uh, really looking forward to giving this a look. This one I've heard a lot about, it's 237 minutes long, so very long, and that is Love Exposure. So uh, yeah, definitely looking forward to these. I own at least one of his other films. I, I know I own Cold Fish, but I have not seen any of his films. So going into these pretty blind, but I'm excited. So those are the three third window films releases that I grabbed from their sale. So the rest of these are going to be Arrow titles. Sorry, I don't know too much about any of these releases, guys. Again, they were all almost complete blind bias, but just really excited to add some new stuff to my collection. This one I know next to nothing about, but it looks like it could be fun. This came out in 2018, it has a slipcover, so that's cool. And that is Lake Michigan Monster. I think I mostly picked this up because I could tell it was gonna come with the slipcover, not gonna lie, but I'm definitely looking forward to checking this out. It has a lot of special features on there. If you guys know more about this one, uh, let me know in the comments below. A film that I'm pretty sure I've heard some good things about, and that is Inferno of Torture, another Japanese film that I'm adding to the collection. Again, a, a vast majority of this haul are Japanese films, so uh, very excited about that aspect of it. Another film I've heard really good things about, and that is The Mad Fox. This is an Arrow Academy release. Uh, it looks like a really interesting film. And then we have Black Test Car. This is one I've been meaning to grab from Arrow for quite some time. As you guys may know, David Cronenberg is one of my favorite directors, and they released this quite a while ago, and this is David Cronenberg's early works. And it has uh, Transfer from the Drain, Stereo, and Crimes of the Future. Um, if I remember correctly, two of them are feature length, about 63 minutes long, and then two of them are short films. So I'm really interested to check this out. I don't know how good they are, but it's always good to see where one of your, your favorite directors kind of started out. And again, this has been on my wish list for a long time, so I thought I'd better grab it in case it's going to go out of print soon or something, but excited about that one. Next up, we have Bloodstone, one of the few that is not a Japanese film. This is I think just an American movie. It looks to be kind of like a, an adventure film, kind of a Indiana Jones ripoff maybe. Not, not so sure, but uh, looks like it could be fun. So yeah, Bloodstone. This one I'm really excited about because I've really been getting into Jacques Demy's films lately, and I actually watched his film Lola not too long ago, and this is a film that features that character in it, and that is Model Shop. So very excited about this one. Um, I believe it was released by Twilight Time in the U.S., but of course that's out of print. So I was I was happy to find this as part of their sale. And I should mention many of these titles were only eight pounds, so some great deals in there. I've also really been getting into 1960 cinema, so when I saw this was part of the sale, I had to grab it. And that is Bob and Carol and Ted and Alice. This has a great cast, uh, 60s film, like I said. Really love Elliot Gold too, so. This one I'm definitely looking forward to. Next we have a film starring James Cagney in which he plays Lon Chaney and that is Man of a Thousand Faces. I've heard nothing but good things about this film so really looking forward to it. Uh, from what I understand it's kind of like a biopic about Lon Chaney so uh, definitely should be interesting. Next up we have The Sender. This is a film that I, I think was released by all of films in the US and I've always wanted to check it out but never was able to grab that all of films release but this kind of looks like the way to go to be honest. Uh, you got a lot of special features and whatnot on there. It looks to be the superior release at least in my opinion so definitely looking forward to giving this one a look soon. And this is a film I actually just watched on HBO Max just a couple weeks ago, and that is With Nail and I. 
I really, really love this movie. Really fantastic performances, just an overall really interesting story. Uh, so I'm happy to add it to the collection. I immediately added it to my, my order. I think I actually placed two orders from ERA UK, but I immediately added it to my order after watching it because I really, really enjoyed this one. This one is actually a double dip, but I absolutely love this film. And I think it has a few different special features and I really like the artwork. And that is Miracle Mile. I absolutely love this movie, guys. It's one of my all time favorites. So I had to double dip on that one feel no remorse whatsoever because I just love this film. Similar to the David Cronenberg set, we have the early films of Olivier Assayas, I believe is how you say his name. I've really been wanting to check out some more of his films, so I figured this would be a good place to start. You have Disorder and Winter's Child in here, both of which are feature length films. I have seen Clouds of Sils Maria, really like that one, and Criterion just released Irma Vep, and I've really been wanting to pick up Cold Water, so I was excited to grab this one, and it was very, very cheap for two films, so uh, definitely looking forward to this. If you guys have seen these movies, let me know how they are. Another Japanese flick here, we have Bloody Spear at Mount Fuji. This is another one that I could have sworn I already owned, but for some reason I did not. So excited to add it to the collection and really, really like that cover art. It's really, really nice looking. So excited about this one. And then next up we have Street Mobster. Don't know too much about it, but it's another Japanese flick to add to the collection. And then going right along with that Saijin Suzuki discussion, uh, we have another one of his really well-known films, and that is Detective Bureau 2-3 to three, Go to Hell Bastards. Knew I had to grab this one as soon as I saw it in the sale. This was one of the first things I threw in my cart, so uh, very excited about this. And then this one, I believe, is like a film noir starring Ginger Rogers, and that is Magnificent Doll. It's another one that I believe had a US release, but uh, this one looked to be superior, so uh, looking forward to giving this one a look. This is a fairly recent release from Arrow and a pretty new film as well, I do believe, and that is The Deeper You Dig. I've definitely been intrigued to give this one a look, so. I was excited to see it as part of their sale, and I'm also excited that this is the limited edition with the slipcover, as well as some bonus features that um, are only available in this box set, which says it comes with The Hatred, a 2018 film, so yeah, very excited about that. Next up we have Ivan's XTC, at least I believe that's how you say it, starring uh, Peter Weller and Danny Houston. Uh, I've always been kind of intrigued by that cover, and don't know too much about it, but I'm looking forward to it. It's a film from 1999. Then next up we have Warning from Space. This looks like a fun sci-fi flick. It was one that Andrew really wanted to make sure I picked up. This is actually the first Japanese science fiction film to be made in color, so really intrigued by that for that reason alone. And then we have Burst City. Sorry, I don't know too much about these, but you know, me and my blind buys always just picking stuff up that looks intriguing to me. So yeah, again, let me know where I should start with this haul. Then we have Yakuza Law. This one I've heard is a pretty wacky film. I actually think that I own this one on DVD randomly. I think I found it at like the dollar store or something, uh, but that is Dave Made a Maze. It looks really intriguing. So I'm looking forward to this one. And then lastly, not gonna lie, I'd probably pick this one up for the slipcover, but that is Cold Light of Day. It's got a really cool like window box slipcover on it. And uh, yeah, just looks intriguing. So looking forward to checking all of these out. Again, lots of good stuff from the Arrow Easter Carnage sale. Kind of went a little wild, but that's kind of what I've been doing lately. So I'm sure it comes as no surprise to any of you. But if you guys picked up anything cool from the Arrow sale, let me know in the comments below. Again, let me know where I should start with this haul. Huge shout out to our executive producer patron, Chase Wilson, and a thanks to our other patrons as well. If you guys are interested in becoming a patron, check out the link to our Patreon down below. We're always adding more perks and are willing to listen to your thoughts on what we should add there. If you guys are interested in supporting us in other ways, such as our merch store or Amazon wishlist. Those links are down below as well. As always, we appreciate you guys watching, liking, subscribing, and don't forget to hit that notification bell to get notifications when we upload new videos. But again, appreciate you guys watching, appreciate you guys being here. Hope you are well, and I will see you guys on the next one.